Hello. Hello, hello. So um, today I'm talking about the Mauvre. And, um, you know, as I've been doing these each week, my name is Chutna, you know, I haven't, I haven't been out posting notices saying I'm doing this, I'm doing that and putting up the next color, right? It's just, I'm on, I'm on and I'll be here until I feel like the spirits tell me or my teachers and guides are saying, um, not to do it. So here we are with Mauve. And um, I see some of you are in. It's nice to see you. I know lots of you watch it later. So um, I'm going to get on with things now. So I want to invite you to the depths of Mauve. Mauve is a really potent ray. It helps us to drop deep inside and touch like the, um, the really painful parts of our soul, our spirit, and move through, you know, the trauma that's been in our line. And mauve is a healing color. So, you know, there aren't any spiritual bypasses. There's no way to transform other than to go through. You kind of can't go around it and say, oh, I don't really want to feel that. We come to this world and we learn things oftentimes by falling down, stumbling, getting hurt, picking ourselves up and thinking, okay, don't need to repeat that. Don't want to do that again. Um, and the Mauve is a beautiful teacher and ally who helps hold us as we go into those depths and those really painful places they're kind of scary places a lot. You know, we're moving into the unknown. You know, it was so uncomfortable when we felt the wound originally that we often cauterize. We just cut off and we don't let the blood and the energy circulate in those really painful spots. We just hold it and we freeze. So as we freeze and hold, then the stuckness happens. So Mauve comes in, this amazing ray, and she sort of tenderly opens um, that area, and then we can be vulnerable and allow that what needs to be released to be released. So it takes an energy um, of a certain kind of awareness, uh, consciousness with Mauve to allow that vulnerability. A lot of us want to be strong, um, who wants to feel vulnerable? Nobody wants to feel the wound. And the word vulnerable, um, the root of it is like the ability to feel the wound. Vulner is wound and ability. So our ability to feel our wounds. And the Mauve Ray and the Mauve Mistress is an amazing being, uh, an amazing energy presence of love, divine love which is holding us as we explore those nuggets inside where we've um, held on to our pain and not let the pain be released. So I'm going to do a little opening of directions together now that we've kind of jumped into the Mauve. Um, and a lot of people, um, Mauve is really needed at this time with COVID and everything going on in the lockdown. What's happened is a lot of people have been forced inside uh, physically, but also spiritually and emotionally and mentally. And we've been pushed back into ourselves. We've been kind of punched back into our center and we need to use the resources that we have inside to meet the challenges and demands of what's going on. And you know, as we go inside, you know, we've had resistance to feeling the things we felt and we being very busy, we often don't sink down to those depths. And Mauve is there now, you know, a lot of us in lockdown, uh, the whole nature of how we relate has changed. And, um, you know, we're being forced in a way, it's a device. The hidden harmony of the situation is that we have more space now to do the inner exploration. 
But as you go into the inner exploration, if you're not prepared and you don't have the skill set to do it, you can feel like you're losing your mind. You know, you can feel like you're going nuts. And um, that's one thing. Or it can just be so painful. And that's why a lot of people use alcohol and substances just to blank it out because they don't want to feel what's actually happening. But as we meet those places inside, then we, rather than those um, cut off energies being like a, a liability or a wound, your wound becomes your asset. It becomes your strength. But you need to integrate that energy. And MOVE is here to help us to meet that place inside with tenderness, with love, with self-acceptance, with enlightenment energy, to help us unravel the kernels and knots of pain that we have inside. So we're going to do a very simple, um, I have a little tinkly bell instead of a drum or a rattle, which doesn't work very well on the internet thing here. I'm not so technological. If you have a suggestion for me for bringing in the drumming track through Facebook Live, I know on Zoom you can upload a file, but if you have suggestions, please write to me and tell me how to get better sound quality out of me rattling or drumming while we work like this. I'm open to suggestions. Um, anyway, I'm just gonna do a little tinkling here. And just thanking spirits of the East for their support and their love as we work. So cast your awareness to the East. Think of where the sun rises where you live and feel where you are in your place. Let your awareness seek the horizon and feel the love of the universe for you and the love coming back to you from the direction of the East. Thanking the spirit of the East. And breathe in that love coming to you. And bringing your attention to the south, noonday sun. The loving light of consciousness of that noonday sun shining upon you, warming to the depths of your being. And thanking the spirits of the south for their love and their presence. Thank you. And we bring our attention to the west, sun and spirits of the west for their love and their support as we work together. And feeling that bliss, like waves of bliss from the west, really strong. So the west is like letting go, you know, the sun sets and we let go of the day. Feeling that waves and waves of ecstatic energy are coming through. So feeling those waves of energy and waves of love. Uplifting you and supporting you. Creating that sacred space around you. And now to the north, the sun is set, the moon is on the rise, and we can see the stars in the sky. In the north, thanking the spirits of the north for their support and their love. Whatever north is for you. And breathe in the peace and the silence of the night. And feel the sacredness of the night enter you now. That depth of silence and stillness. Wrapped in the magical cloak of the night and that peace. And now bringing your attention to the lower world where the power animals reside. And if you know your power animal, welcoming your power animal, thanking your power animal for its support and its love as we are in circle tonight. Coming to the middle world. There's several animals. Welcome all of them. Thank you for coming still coming. Um, we'll move to the middle world and this is the nature spirit um, and thanking them. The spirit of the place where you are, feeling that connection, home. The spirit of your home where you are, 
thanking the spirit of the place for the support and the love actually for all the time, not just now, but in our sacred space. And the blessings that we receive, we also bring that energy to the spirit of the place where we are. So it's in this relationship, as you center yourself and you come into your own peace, the spirit of place can absorb your peace and will echo back to you that peace and that love. So coming into your meditation, coming into your stillness, and that love coming back out. Now, we're also going to call in our true self. So this is your wisest self, your most enlightened self, your deepest spirit. And thanking your true self for being with you now to help you to do this deep work of the mode. And we thank the upper world teachers, all the archangels and angels, the wise ones, the saints, the beings who have guided us, the yogi, the masters, the coloring masters, and all the beings of love and light, which are here to support us in the awakening, the great changing that's happening now, the great shift. And opening yourself, feel like your crown, your your third eye, everything is open to receiving the wisdom of these beautiful teachers to help enlighten you and lift you up. Okay, so we call in the Mauve Mistress or Master. Mauve can appear in different ways. And allowing this energy, we're going to meditate together and Mauve is a very still energy. And I want you to breathe in the mauve ray with me now. And as you breathe in, be, allow yourself, your awareness, close your eyes and allow your awareness to go into different parts of your body. So we're going to scan the whole body and you're going to feel the mauve coming in. And I want you to imagine it like a smoke, like a smoky energy that can furl and curl. And breathing in the mauve, and feeling it move through your body, just feel it move around you. And as it moves, allowing it to unravel any knots of pain, any physical illness, any um, feelings, stored histories, personal histories, ancestral histories. Allow the mauve ray, just by breathing that in, Allow the mauve ray to touch the places inside that need to be touched. Allow the tears inside that have been stored that need to be cried, allow them to flow. You might feel like crying, you might feel tightness in your throat, you might become aware of that you might allow, allow the grief to surface, to be released. And breathe into those spots of tension, move down into your neck and shoulders. The lungs are notorious for holding grief. So we will breathe with mauve and watch your breath. Breathing in deeply, the mauve ray and hold and suspend your breath. And then release your breath in a slowly exhaling. And we're going to begin to count. After you exhale, you can also hold and suspend your breath there. So let us breathe in for the count of four, six, eight, whatever you can manage comfortably. Breathe in for a count of six, Hold for a count of six. Exhale for a count of six. Hold for a count of six and start the breath again. And we'll do this for a few moments. Breathing in the mauve ray. So let's begin. I'll do a little tinkling.
Take the next breath, your last one. Come back to your normal breath pattern now. Just feel the difference for a moment here. So the move mistress, and the move master, and all the angelic presences of move are here for us. They support us. They're giving us their love. What I'd love for you to do now in the silence we're going to continue is I'd like you, if you have an area that's really painful for you emotionally in your life, something which is really uncomfortable, something which um, it could be in your family or in your work life or something it could be in the world it doesn't have to be personal to you you could feel really upset about things you're seeing in the news there's plenty of those pick something a topic that something that's uh, disturbing to you right now and brings up a lot of grief and sadness for you i'm just in your imagination, I'm going to continue to rattle for you. I want you to imagine or journey with Mauve and ask Mauve to just look upon this situation with you, like holding your hand or, you know, if you're not a contact type person, just standing next to you and both of you looking with love upon the situation that's causing you a lot of pain. And just express to move, have a conversation and say, you know, this situation is bringing up so much sadness for me. What guidance do you have for me? You know, how can I heal from this? It feels so hard to heal from this. And allow yourself to then, after you ask the question, just relax, be in silence, do the deep breathing and see what answers or response you get or how you feel, just trust that you will be downloaded with the energy, the love, the healing, the insight that you need at this time. So pose your question to move and just ask for healing around it, ask for understanding, ask for the grace of move and look together lovingly upon it and receive whatever healing or messages you need or it needs if it's planetary. So you merge with your true self and we invite Mauve to come to us, to be with us, this loving force. Ask your question.
allow move to touch your body now and offer pull from within you what needs transformation share your energy with move you might want to move your hands in this reality as you do that and give that offering to move this is what i wish to transform this is what i wish to lead to move into new energy Thank you for helping me transform this pain, this grief, this sorrow. Hold your hands out in front of you and ask Mo for her blessing and ask Mo for the healing or his healing or its healing, however Mo appears to you. Ask for the gift of the Mo Ray to heal you. I'm placing your hands in front of you like this. Take that energy and pour it and brush it down on your body. So thank you, Mo. Receive it. Pour it into your crown and move down your body, throat, your chest, your stomach, your legs, brush down, sweep all the way down to your feet. Breathe it in. Thank you, move. Pull it down your back, move down your back, brush it down your back, your neck. Move the move energies through. Take them all. So move blessings for you all. I'm going to do the closing return beat now. And move will come with you. You can say to move, thank you for being here with me and let move weave into your body, into your emotions into your spirit and celebrating your own move wisdom your own move grace the ability to self-heal the ability to absorb this ray this vulnerability this juicy juicy energy of move this delicious energy this subtle etheric energy and letting it fill you like a beautiful divine perfume I'm thanking Mo for being with you to enlighten and lift you and to bring healing into the dark nooks and crannies of trapped energy. And may the Mo of mysteries and healings continue to percolate inside your being to uplift you, to enlighten you, to heal you, and to bring you into the fullness of your beautiful self, into the depths of your being. May the depths of Mo take you to your deepest core so you can express the fullness of who you are in this world to share all the light the love and the brilliance which you are so um leave me a comment tell me how move was for you um, you can even private message me if it's too much you feel too public here or whatever um, it's good for me to know you're enjoying or how it is for you because I can modify things if things don't work for you as well um, to make it suit better and to support us in this time of um, the COVID and the lockdown and move blessings and may the healing just continue to roll. It's so lovely to see you guys. I see some of you up there and um, yeah, let the move magic happen. Don't be surprised this week if you feel sadness arising. That's the, the color for the week, especially with the lockdown, is to allow us to feel the sadnesses. This is the time. You are perfectly in tune if you're feeling like um, remembering things that made you sad. And just say hello to them. Embrace them like you would a child. And then let them evolve. Just be patient with yourself. Be tender with yourself. Be gentle with yourself. And have a beautiful week. Okay. Do leave me a note. And, and let me know how MOVE was for you. 
um, any experience you want to share, love to hear it. Okay, bye for now. Most blessings.